I started working with the material of clay and ceramics when I was an undergraduate at Penn State and have continued to do so in various capacities. More so now firing the material less and working with it for its ephemeral qualities, um, speaking to life cycles and regenerative processes. More and more I think the material itself learning more about where it comes from in our planet and sort of the ability for it to be reused over and over again is something that interests me. Coming to Charlotte, I noticed all of the pretty aggressive development over in the South End area, and I noticed the really, really red clay, and so I asked a construction manager if I could take clay from their site, and they were really receptive, and so I processed that here in the studio, running it through different size sieves, taking out the rocks. After the clay is ready to use, then I build up kind of a vocabulary of forms, and the forms often reference organisms that help recycle nutrients in our ecosystems, so lichen, moss, fungi, things that maybe are deemed gross or not as beautiful as like flowering botanicals. Sometimes I'm drawn to the formal qualities of an area outside where I'm just curious to build in it, fill it, or have like the tension or contrast of a material that's very fragile and ephemeral to something that's really permanent. And so I'm thinking a lot about what materials we use in our construction too and the impact they have. And more recently, the forms I've been building with have been uh, looking at organisms that existed millions of years ago through the different sort of eras of the planet and thinking about living organisms that contributed to uh, deposits of materials that we extract from the earth now. When people come together, there can be great impact. Um, and I think the climate crisis can make you feel uncomfortable or upset or angry or that you can't do much about it. But I think a lot of people um, in a range of um, political beliefs have shared values in terms of like access to food, food, clean water, education, and that talking about it and in ways of shared values could have an impact.